All right, I decided to cut it ahead because I was being stupid wandering around being clueless as to how I'm supposed to get that break to smash the window, but we really do have to consult Mr. Axe on this. He's the only one that can open this lock. And yeah, I thought it was going to make too much noise because, awesome. I don't know, I figure it was going to be a now lot more louder Carefully. than that. We'd end up getting killed Can't because zombies would break. take notice to that. But yeah, we can open up the gate now. I don't know. I, I, personally, I thought it was a bad move to do this because I figure you can die easily, but no, they're just going to wander around aimlessly. They don't pick up our set or anything. So with that, we got the brick. We can go to the TV store, you know, smash it with the brick. Guess what happens when we do that? Yeah, that's right. They all get attracted to the magical glow of the television. It's um, it's it's very magical. Haven't you ever been attracted to the TV screens? Yeah. Now we have to go look at Lee's brother. This this has gotta be really hard on the guy. I, I gotta be honest. Keep an eye out, will you? I see we have our. Our reliable BFF with us. I don't like where this is going. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah, I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of them, that helped. Jesus! I mean, I know he's a zombie, but... Alright, touching moment is over, now it's back to consulting Mr. Axel and trying to finish Lee's brother. I, I was just trying to be quiet for that very touching moment. This this is not so touching. This, this is, like, kind of horrific now. Oh, Jesus, Mr. Axe. I, I, I don't think he's gonna move now. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna find the keys. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! I guess the mystical glow of TVs does not last nearly as long, but here's the thing. They unlocked the gate, so zombies could probably get in. I mean, they're pretty mindless, but they Man, probably could get in. But we did it. That's all that matters. Gates unlocked. No one really cares. We got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Well, it seems like Lily's not so bad. I mean, I know she's a little moody, but she just cares about her dad a lot. She's pretty relieved, you know. I have a feeling she has a heart of gold. We just need to earn points with her, you know. Just gotta get on her good side. I have a feeling she's actually pretty nice. Very caring. Oh, no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Oh, man. You know this isn't good. It actually kind of reminds me of Resident Evil 6, where you had to survive that one area. Which, actually, I think is based off a level in Resident Evil Outbreak. In a bar scene. I don't remember. I just remember it was a bunch of survivors trapped in a building, small room, zombies everywhere. It kind of feels like that situation. And then there's the shot of the dead. Why is there situations where zombies are, like, trying to get into a small room and survivors are trying to survive in that room? Doc, come on, there'll be time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast! I gotta get my dad out of here! I don't plan on dilly-dallying! Honey, 
AJ, duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my- No, our BFF! I ain't got doors not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Away from the well, I'm gonna trust Kenny to take good care of our reliable BFF. Also, we gotta take over for Glenn, so. Holding the door. We don't make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. Aw, Doug, you're awesome. We're gonna make it, though. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Oh man, she's never gonna tell him, is she? Oh man, I gotta say, Lee's pretty strong. Oh man, can Lee do it? Yes, he can. Oh man, Lee is amazing. Oh man, Dad's pimp cane. It can save the day. Yeah. What is that gonna do though? Oh no, Doug. And Carly. Oh my God. Oh man, Carly. She freaking. Friend us, and Doug has been nothing but a good man. I'm just, I'll be honest. I, I, it's not even a choice. To say Doug or Carly. I'm freaking. I'm gonna go for the one that did not threaten me. I'm gonna go for the guy who has actually been a nice guy. Yeah, that's right. It's unconventional, but freaking, she was like, if you're a detriment to the group, uh, you better watch yourself. We're gonna have a problem. Oh man, that wasn't even just their eating her, that was like mouth to mouth. That zombie was making out with her. They got Carly. Oh no, Clementine! Alright, it's okay, we gotta save her. I mean, we're Mr. Fantastic. The zombie, the freaking gonna get screwed. And I'm not saying that because it has a screwdriver in its back. No, it's just freaking, you do not touch Clementine. We gotta run. Damn it, Larry! Oh my god! Is, is this it? Are we are we dead? No! Oh. Not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Oh man, our two BFFs. Good old reliable Mr. Axe and good old Kenny. That's right. We got BFFs. We got people behind us. Oh man, Kenny just earned some more points. And oh, we're back at the motel. Uh, I I I guess it's all right, you know. We know it pretty well inside and out. We can defend ourselves. We proved this earlier. That's a lead. I, I bet we killed all those guys though. I bet we killed all those corpses, except for that one. Uh, man, I gotta say, it's it's been a pretty uh, dramatic day for Lee, though. I mean, he had to make a choice between Doug or Carly, which, honestly, I think I made the better choice. You know, the guy that's not gonna threaten us if things go bad. You know, the person that actually doesn't know about us. It's probably better that way. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Well, 
I can't stop him, man. I mean, if it was us, I wouldn't want anyone stopping us. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. I wonder if we'll see Glenn again. Uh, oh man. It has been a really tough day for Lee. I mean, I'm not even going to mention his brother. That was dramatic enough. Thank you. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, how about Clementine? Yeah? Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. You know, that kind of lifted my spirits. You know, Kenny, he's he's the guy that's gonna pick us up a little bit. I, I, I respect that. Thank you, Kenny. That was That was nice. You got Cat. I'm gonna call her Cat. Her name is too confusing for me. I, I I would mispronounce it too many times. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I. I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But I mean, it's. Probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. She liked you too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. You didn't threaten me. I didn't. Oh. Sometimes we don't make choices. We just do what we do. I just wish you would have picked her. Well, I wish he didn't threaten me, but that's not going to change the past now, is it? <laughs> All right, let's go check on our uh, let's go check on our surrogate daughter. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast, but you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. There's a. Uh... Not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. That's okay. It's just a walkie-talkie, right? It's just a walkie-talkie. It probably wasn't much use to begin with. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. I've, oh, I have a feeling I should have told Clementine something else. What do you want? You like my daughter? Well, I'm not gonna lie, she is kinda hot. She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are. And I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter, or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Well, it sounds like we got another reporter situation on our hands. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? But his daughter is so caring. Oh man, I'm torn. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. 
This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. You just had to say it, didn't you, Lily? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Who the fuck is us? Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Isn't that exciting? Oh man, I know you want you want me to go on and play. And oh, here's our choices: Doug or Carly. Pff, chose Doug. Give Irene the gun. No, I, I didn't really want to give her that gun. I mean, I know Mercy, but I feel I don't know. I sided with Kenny. Chose Duck. I don't know what would have happened if I chose Sean. Lied to Herschel. Did I really lie to Herschel? I mean, I tried to be as honest as possible, but. Um, so that's pretty much it. These are the credits. I should probably save them until, like, I don't know, episode 6 or the DLC 400 days. I plan to do it. I plan to do it all viewers, but, uh, I think I'm gonna take a break from The Walking Dead. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm only one guy. I can only do it for so long. Uh, there's so much talking in this game. It's, like I said, I, I feel like this is the type of game that's better to, like play rather than LP, but I I'm still doing it. I'm a man of my worm, Spitter Mickey. That's right, because I'm doing it for him. But no, it's a good game. I like it. I might play the chapters ahead and then kind of go along with the gameplay. That way I'm not so clueless and find myself getting into stupid situations where I don't know what to do. Where's the battery? Oh, I don't know where it is. Oh man, how do I open this lock? God dang it, I have crafts on my feet. That's great, I gotta go work in a second. Uh, Alright, well, I I'm gonna end it here, because I'm, I'm pretty much exhausted everything I can. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take a break from uh, The Walking Dead, but instead of just, like, not posting anything, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a week off of The Walking Dead, and instead go play some Resident Evil 4 for, like, a week, and then resume episode two and it's gonna go in a pattern like that i think i'm not sure but that's my idea on this wow i i just talked through most of the credits didn't i i think yeah i talked through most of the credits okay well with that said this is like probably the most talking i've ever done in this entire lp so far so i'm just gonna shut up we'll we'll be back with the walking dead expect it Love you all. Peace. Night.